Sometimes it happens when you read a newspaper or you look at a report on the internet uh, that you'll notice that there's a mistake. And this can often happen with data, uh, either because there was a mistake in um, copying the data over or uh, in working with the data. And you can use this analysis that we've been doing using Venn diagrams to determine if there is uh, an inconsistency in the data. So I want to uh, show you an example of that. So let's say that we have a set of data on a survey conducted on the use of web browsers. So we'll uh, suppose there are two uh, fictitious web browsers by the names of WebMagic and iBrowse. And the survey data shows that 316 people use WebMagic, 478 use iBrowse, 104 use both, and 567 use only one of these browsers. Let's see if that stands up to analysis using the Venn diagram. Okay, so I'm going to draw a two-set Venn diagram this time because I have two choices here. And I'll call the one set W for web magic and the other one B for eyebrows. You remember in analyzing using a Venn diagram that we should start in the center of the diagram and that means that that's item C in our problem here. People who use both of these web browsers that would be in the intersection of those two sets. So 104 goes in there. Then it says, previous bit of information says 478 use eyebrows and so that would be set B. But 104 are already in this region here. That means that this region here must have 478 minus 104 or uh, 374. Okay, in part A we're given that 316 people use web magic. We know that 104 of them also are in this uh, overlap region. That means we have a total of uh, 316 minus the 104 gives us 212 in this region here. Okay, now let's look at this claim in Part D. It says 567 people use only one of these browsers. But what does our diagram tell us? Our diagram says that people who use only the web magic number 212 and the people who use only the eyebrows number 374 and when we add those up we get 586 and so that does not agree with the claim in the survey so there is an inconsistency in this data here. So something is wrong and we would need to check the source there before we could use this information.